Today I'm going to do a look at the um, EasyWear K9 slicing software that comes with the uh, Easy 3D K9 Mini 3D printer, and um, I'm just it's just open now at the first screen, and you just need to go over to the right hand side to the drop down to change the language. I don't think you can actually set the language uh, you have to change it each time you use it so but there's only one click hardly a problem and um, in order to load the model you have to go to the roundel on the top left hand side and click the upper quadrant and then you can load your model I'm going to use the uh, 3D Benshi and there it is it's come into the screen now in order to um, zoom into it, you just use, in the case of a laptop which I'm using, a two finger scroll up and down to zoom in and out. So to zoom in, you, you uh, use the two fingers and the down movement, and to zoom out, you use them in an upward movement. And to reset the camera, you just have to push this button. To actually move around and um, uh, rotate the model in 360 degrees. You just need to press the right mouse button and um, a, a single finger on the trackpad and you can just rotate it as much as you like. And obviously you can um, rotate it in any angle you like and then zoom in and out with the uh, two fingers on the trackpad. And it's very simple just to reset the view by clicking reset camera. In order to size it, you need to go to the uh, right of the uh, right quadrant of the roundel and click that button, and it brings up a another menu, and you just click on the one key button, and that will bring you up three buttons for um, standard profiles to use with the printer. I'm going to go into the uh, custom, so we can have a look at the. Um, individual settings that are there. You can see layer thickness is defaulting at uh, 0 0.2, initial layer thickness um, 0 0.3. I'm going to leave that alone. Then it comes to the speed, print speed section. Again, I'm going to leave that alone. And the infill section, which again, I'm going to leave as standard. It says 15% there. So with the bench, you don't really need support. So I'm going to change that to um, none. And with bed adhesion, um, uh, there is brim, raft and skirt, and I'm going to leave it on raft. Support Z distance is um, 0.2, which is compatible with um, the uh, layer thickness. Um, and it should, support Z distance should always be the layer, the layer thickness in my opinion, in my experience. I'm going to leave uh, nozzle temperature at 180. It's just going into the settings for the raft. I'm going to leave all those alone. Having reviewed the settings, I'm content with them, so I'm just going to press the start slicing button. Yeah. As you can see, the whole process is completed very quickly. That's quite impressive. If you want to see down through the layers of the model, you can just um, uh, tilt the model towards you um, by pressing the right mouse button again and using one finger on the trackpad. I'm just going to tilt it towards me so that you can see the, you can see from the top down, and also zoom in a little bit perhaps. Um, if you click on the slider on the right, with the left click and the finger on the trackpad. You can drag the slider down and you can see through the model and see how the infill is laid out. It's always useful to check if you have um, a complicated model or something that has support material to check that the support material is in the right places and so on. I'm going to reset the camera and then I'm going to um, save out the data 
to my hard drive on my computer and then um, as you can see I've already saved it before so I'm just going to choose that file again and overwrite it. That's um, the uh, EasyWear software. Uh, it's very, it's a very good piece of slicing software. It's, it renders the model quickly, and you know, it's a simple to navigate around the model, with regard to um, uh, tilting the model, and also zooming in and out. And it, it, it does so. Even on my computer, which is fairly old, without too much hesitation and. Um, stopping and starting and things like that and I think that's pretty good to be honest um, and certainly the model that I've printed so far I've printed two models with this um, on the printer and, and, and both have turned out very nicely um, so I think it, I, I'm sure you could use this I suppose if you want a bit more customization then you can um, try the Cura version that they all supply, supply as well but as I say I haven't tested that and I'm that will be my next um, job to test that out and um, have a look at that. Okay, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.